Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. Today's video, we are shooting the new Elite Omnia up against the Hoyt VTM 31. These two here at Humphreys Archery, they are saying these two are going head to head. Uh, Mike here has told me that these are the first two that need to be shot. So we're gonna shoot these two, see which one I like a little bit better. So if you wanna see my opinion on these two bows head to head to each other, then go ahead and stay tuned. Alright guys, so first up down range, we are going to shoot the VTM 31, show you guys the balance of that bow, just stock, always, Hoyt always has just a solid base, having that little stubby stabilizer clearly helps just a little bit, but we are set up at 29 and a half inch draw, these arrows are 508 method archery arrows, Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Focus in on that draw length, or sorry, the draw cycle. Pretty smooth draw. It is set at 70 pounds. And the, it settles super good for not being set up with stabilizers and everything. Let's shoot it and see how it feels. snap it's quiet and very very steady in my hand also if you guys can, haven't noticed obviously a new so to say venue of shooting um, about almost a year ago I moved from southern Utah up to northern Utah and that's why I've sucked at posting videos because I just haven't had a place to film um, and shoot bows and so thankful that Humphreys archery here in I believe I'm in American Fork I think that's where I'm at, um, is willing to let me come shoot. Mike here is freaking solid. So Mike's been helping me out, getting me set up to film some videos for you guys. Okay, I'm kind of in love with this bow already. Um, I have the RX-7 Ultra and I almost <laughs> I also want to switch it out and get the VTM 31. Um, I've, I, I like the string angle. I like how compact it is, but the string angle is still pretty wide. You're not sitting there trying to search for that string. And it's super dead in your hand. Very dead in your hand, very quiet, honestly. That thing is money this one has had a lot of talk um, on social media YouTube in the shops and stuff and now I can see kind of why I have shot the excuse me Venom and Venom Pro and I was kind of concerned that the VTM I'm like seriously it's just gonna be another bow I mean I made fun of point on my Instagram about it but I don't know, that, that there, it just feels a little bit different. I kind of like it. So I'm gonna have, definitely have to shoot that one some more. Um, but the Elite Omnia set up at 29 and a half inch draw, 70 pounds as well. So same setup. Um, this thing, he said, they've been having a lot of good luck with. So curious, um, I, I've only taken one shot out of it just to make sure that everything was plumb. But uh, I'm excited to really focus in on this bow. So I'm gonna grab my arrows and we're gonna shoot this Elite Omnia. All right guys, time for that Elite Omnia. Go for that, go for that balance. Does not balance nearly as good as that. It does wanna move forward, which is not a bad thing. I mean, that's what happens when you throw a stabilizer on it. And Elite does have the same stubby stabilizer as Hoyt basically, so that is, makes it you know apples to apples instead of apples to oranges a lot of you guys complain about them testing apples against oranges but just kind of giving an overview of my thoughts on a bow how it feels in my hand um, and just you know if you don't have the opportunity to shoot one right then and there you can take it for what it's worth um, 
from what my experience is. So draw length on that, or draw, gosh, draw cycle. Okay. It was a smooth draw. I feel like it dumped into that valley. You probably saw it. A little bit more rough than that weight. Let's try it again. Hmm. I gotta find that dump where that, it's kind of, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely noticeable. Settles. String angle's very similar to that weight. Settles very similar as well. It feels solid after the shot. Um, can't tell if that was a little bit of jump for it or a little bit of vibration. So let's try that again. That was a little bit more gentle into that back wall. I think it's just getting used to that draw cycle. Not too much vibration. I feel like there's a little bit more of a jump than what that Hoyt has. Um, but it's, I wanna say it might even be quite a bit quieter. Let's shoot that thing again and see. Man, ah, that one felt pretty solid. Honestly, those two are kind of comparable. Um, Let's take a second. Let's shoot a couple. Um, I only have three arrows, so I'll shoot a three arrow group, show you, shoot a three arrow group, and show you uh, 20, 25 yards, whatever this is, pretty close. Um, I don't know, those are, I, I would say, the grip wise though, I mean, I do shoot a Hoyt, so I am used to that Hoyt grip, then just the bare riser on that Elite. But that being said, I mean, those very comparable bows. The Elite, you do have, uh, Mike was telling me, you do have the uh, option to change draw length in quarter inch increments, which is pretty freaking sweet to just really dial it into what feels comfortable to you. Hoyt is in half inch increments. Um, I usually get it close to what, I, what feels comfortable and then mess around with my D loop, getting that dialed in exactly where I want. Um, but I don't know which one's lighter. I need to get a scale. I want to say the elite feels quite a bit lighter than that Hoyt. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab my arrows again and do a three arrow group. Show you guys the groupings that I can get with each of these. See which one's a little bit tighter. I would do a speed test through the chronograph but unfortunately the chronograph here is not working right now. So we're gonna go off of groups and just kind of the feel of the bow. I don't really cover too much, too many of the specs of the bows as far as the axle axle, the brace height, um, any options, I don't really cover that too much. Um, I try to mainly focus on what the bow feels like shooting in my hand and try to portray that to you as much as possible um, to you guys at home being able to try to decide on what bows you should go try to shoot if you you know have the ability to go shoot so anyway shoot a three arrow group on each of these and see which one i can get tighter okay first up for grouping is going to be the hoyt vtm and again it, this thing is so dead in your hand Okay, I'm just really focusing on that drop into the valley. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit softer than that Elite was giving me. All right, level the bubble, hold steady and slowly squeeze the trigger. The oh, weight's definitely quite a bit more dead in the hand. After going back to it, that very comfortable. I like. I might have to switch back to shorter axle axle. I little, really am enjoying the way this bow feels. Just solid. Let's go check. 
check that again. Smooth draw, settles. All right, so here is the group for the Hoyt. Obviously it's not sighted in, but there's the group. Nothing uh, crazy tight, but definitely, oops, definitely, a, uh, I mean, decent little group for 25 yards with a not so tuned bow. This target's nice and tight. Got method archery arrows set up. Um, technically, this is when they used to be called a different name, but changed and I'm stoked to get the new ones. Throw those back on and let's shoot the Omnia. Okay, so three arrow grouping. Adjust this camera just a little bit. Three arrow grouping with the Elite Omnia. See how she, see how she shoots. It's just, the draw's not quite as smooth. It dumps into that back wall pretty hard compared to the Hoyt. And it is really dead in the hand. It is, I don't wanna discredit that at all. Um, it just, it just has a different thud. Maybe it's a thud that I'm not used to. A little bit of a higher pitch. I feel like the uh, Hoyt has a lower pitch. So take that for what it's worth as far as the sound goes. I don't know what uh, decibels animals can hear better in, but let's shoot this again. Third shot, yeah, the draw. It's a little bit more aggressive on this one. Shoots good. I enjoy that, I do. And I was talking crap a little bit about it, but honestly, feels pretty decent. Let's see where that group ended up. <laughs> Solid, tight group there. And again, it's not sighted in, so that's why the group's off, but those arrows are, I mean, all fletchings are touching on all those arrows. So the Elite, I feel like it might be a little bit more forgiving. I, I feel like I was moving, hold on. I feel like I was moving a little bit more, just shaky, and I, I feel like it was a little bit more forgiving when I was shooting that Elite than the Hoyt. That's a big factor when it comes to choosing a bow um, and the accuracy, obviously. So the Elite is definitely lighter. It had tighter group. Um, I feel like it was a lot more forgiving on those on that group, but I don't know, I really enjoyed the way that the VTM felt in the shoot. The before and after draw cycle is a little bit smoother. It just felt a little bit more dead in the hand. So out of comfortability shooting a lot year round, I'm gonna go with the Hoyt VTM 31 as the one that I would pick out of these two. So take it for what it's worth and get down to your nearest dealer. See if you can shoot these head to head. See your thoughts, DM me, let me know. Uh, how your experience went shooting these two head to head. But anyway, just want to say a huge thanks to everybody for tuning in to another episode and so stoked to continue the uh, giveaway I do have going on, giving away two bows of your choice, one's for you and one's for a veteran or first responder in your life that has affected you. So where you get entered into that as well as donating $5,000 to a uh, nonprofit organization to help veterans get the experiences out in the outdoors that they otherwise wouldn't have the experience in getting. Um, anyway, so we entered in, let's go to hacksandhunt.com, go purchase a flag on my website, and each flag that you do purchase gets you an entry, and we are capping entries at 300 entries. So if you only buy one, it's one in 300 chance of winning. Um, I do know it still shows on my website that's uh, 500 entries. 
exposed the original plan. It's taking a little bit longer than I had expected. So those of you guys that have entered, yes, you are still entered. It is still going, um, but we're gonna cap it at 300 and give you guys an even better opportunity at uh, winning that. So let's get that closed. And big thanks again to Humphreys Archery here in American Fork, Utah. Um, for letting me come on in and shoot some bows. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. We'll see you guys next time.